Hello, and welcome to this video in which we will look at setting up products within Dynamics CRM 2013. When working with opportunities, quotes, orders and invoices, you can call upon products already in the system if you don't want to rely on write-in products. The trick is setting up products, and to do that, there are a number of steps to go through and can feel slightly complicated depending on the complexity of your price list. Within MS CRM, you can have a number of different price lists, you can apply a discount depending on volume, and you can specify your products with different units of measure. This video will guide you through the stages of setup. The first step is to navigate to Settings, Product Catalog, which you will only have access to if you're an administrator or if your administrator has given you the correct administrative rights. The screen itself recommends you set up your products in the order shown, but in this example I will come back to discounts later on in the video. Let's imagine I sell plastic bags in packs of different sizes. I might want to sell single plastic bags, packs of 50 plastic bags and packs of 1000 plastic bags. I might have several different types of bags, so I'd want to include them all in a standard price list along with other products I might want to sell. These other products might also be sold with different units of measure. The first thing we need to do is set up our unit group. Note that a good explanation of this section's aims is given here. We already have some unit groups for other products, but we need one that relates to our plastic bags. So click New in the ribbon and give it a name and a primary unit. In this case, one plastic bag. Click OK and we can now add additional units of measure. Click Units and you'll see our primary unit is listed. This will be fine for single units but we want to add 50 and 1000 packs. Click Add New Unit in the ribbon and give it a name, a quantity and select the primary unit. You can repeat this step for additional packs by clicking Save and New. Once you have completed your required units, click back to General and select Save and Close. Our new unit is listed along with the others. Click back on Product Catalog and the next step is to create a price list. You'll notice I already have a standard price list but it's very easy to add a new one by clicking New and filling in the information. However, let's go back and look at my ready-made standard price list. Once saved, it's become active. I can deactivate it and I can also set effective dates for my price list. The key now is to populate the price list items, but you cannot do that until you have set up your products. So we close out of this screen and go back to product catalog and choose products. This area is now key, bearing in mind our use of units. Notice how we have some products already set up. But if I look at widgets, notice I can sell these as single items or 50 packs, but I actually only have one product called widgets.
So let's go ahead and do this for our product called Plastic Bags. Click New and the new product screen will appear. At first glance it looks like you input your product information. You're actually inputting information to form a basis for items that will go in the price list items on the left. Fill in the mandatory information in the general area which sets out the foundations for the product. In the cost sections, don't be fooled that this is what you'll be selling at. It isn't. Although the fields do have a bearing if you choose a particular pricing method based on cost. In the next screen which you'll see under pricing. The only mandatory field is decimal supported, which indicates whether the product can be split. We can't sell half a plastic bag and we don't want to split our packs, so we'll say zero. Click save for the moment and we'll ignore the advisory priceless warning. Move down and go to price list items and click add new price list item. Now fill in the information and we'll start with our single unit. The quantity selling option defines whether whole partial or both types of quantities can be specified in the quantity field of opportunity pro product quote order and invoice product records. In pricing the pricing method is important and depending on what you choose the fields will change it to allow you to enter the correct information and rounding may come into play. This is where the pricing can be driven based upon the costs as discussed in the previous screen. We'll go with a simple currency amount, so we'll enter a figure and click save and new and enter our 50 pack and repeat for our 1000 pack. Remember at this point our currency amount is for our 50 pack because you'll choose a quantity of one 50 pack when creating an opportunity for 50 plastic bags. Notice that we can select a default price list now that we have linked to price list items. Once complete, we can save and close our products area, and if we go back to our standard price list, we can see our price list items against it. Any active products are now available for selection from opportunity quote order and invoice products. I mentioned at the beginning of this video about discounts, where you can set up discount levels and apply a discount to a product. You may then want to have a standard price list with non-discounted products, or you may want to set up another price list which is your discount list which is only used for certain customers at certain times. Or you could apply your discounts to a standard list, which means your discount is applied purely based on volume. Let's suppose we want to give a discount on a volume purchase of single plastic bags, which will be given whenever the standard prices is selected. Let's go back to the product catalog and click on discount list. Click new, give it a name and specify the type of discount.
Once selected, click OK. Now go to the Discounts area and click Add New Discount. Fill in the fields. Let's say that anyone who buys more than 5,000 plastic bags will get a 5% discount. Save the discount and then save and close the discount list. Now navigate back to products. Click on plastic bags and then process items and select the one plastic bag item and click edit. You can now apply your discount list and save. This implies the volume discount will be applied to your one plastic bag. When this product is selected as an opportunity quote, order or invoice product and the quantity is greater than 5000, the discount is automatically applied. Looking at this opportunity, I'm now able to select my plastic bag product. And I will enter a quantity of 5,000. And once I have saved and closed, the 5% discount is automatically applied. Obviously, if you have been using units of measure, as discussed earlier, you would have to weigh up the best use of discounts. As you can see, it is quite complicated to use products and discounts, but this is because of the flexibility of products and pricing in Dynamic CRM. You'll soon get the, your head around it and you can keep it very simple if required. Always read the help files, and in the meantime, thanks for watching this C-Logic video.